Okay, I am here. Uh, what would that street be, Dion? That's Hampton Avenue. Okay, I am here with uh, Dion Clark, and uh, we are in the backyard of Hampton Avenue. 29 Hampton Avenue. And this is a house that the uh, Mayor Mack owns? Yes, this okay. is one of the properties that Mayor Mack owns. Okay, can you tell me why uh, you're bringing this to my attention today? Because I've complained to Mayor Mack several times about his property and what goes on here at the property. The property needs to be destroyed. And I've complained to Mayor Mack several times about people coming here illegally dumping on his property. And here's some more evidence. And it's a serious problem, Robert, because with the rain and all that, the mosquitoes yeah. and the tide, it's a health hazard. Kids play through here. They run back and forth through here. And it's, it's just dangerous. It's not healthy. And it doesn't look good. You could just literally see the mosquitoes yes. flying around this uh, tire. I can't even back up far enough. Let me see if I can... Wow. I bet you it's 30 tires there. Did you say this property was uh, burned out? Yes. It's been burned out since 2004 like this. Now, you mentioned that neighbors saw uh, somebody cleaning up this property before. Who Absolutely. was that? Every time it gets cleaned up, the, uh, the, uh, the city truck comes here and cleans it up. City workers are cleaning up the mayor's uh, investment property. The last couple of occasions that I have witnessed, I've seen the green truck here with the debris that I complained to about here picking the debris up. This is both yards, 29 and 27. They will pull up here with the dump truck and clean up the debris. Wow. Unbelievable. Well, thank you very much for bringing this to our attention. Um, you know, obviously the mayor should not be using city resources to clean up his property. Like anybody else, he would have to hire a company to come haul, you know, this stuff out of here. Well, it's a problem because the community has enough problems. Yeah. The mayor is from Wilbur section. He knows the problems and at least he can have someone to come around from time to time to check up on his property. Yeah. If nothing else, keep the property cleaned up, maintained, maybe put a fence here. Yeah. That would be some help. Help. Yeah. A, f a fence would deter the dumping, right? Yes, yeah. I would believe, or it, it would hamper it. Right. It wouldn't be so obvious. But you, you don't care, and this is what's happening. But we live here, and we do care. And as I said to you earlier, it's a health issue because of the mosquitoes and all that. It's not healthy. <sighs> and before you know it, Rob, somebody could come here and throw a match. And yeah, so, and then it's another issue. Yeah, yeah. And, so I'm and, very concerned. Yeah, it's a health issue because of the mosquitoes, and definitely a health hazard if it was to catch fire to the human beings in this yes. neighborhood. Terrible. Because you see how people then threw branches on. Yeah. Take as a match. Yeah, that's it. A cigarette. Right. Wow. All right. Well, Dion Clark, thank you very much for bringing this to my attention. Believe me, I would do everything I can yes, to get sir. Mayor Mack to uh, clean up his property. I appreciate it because I have spoke with Mayor Mack several times. We've even been to court. I've taken Mayor Mack to court about this issue in the past, about the same property, him not maintaining his property. And I've told him man to man, face to face, so it's no sneaky stuff or behind his back. He knows Dion Clark has taken him to court and how I feel about it. Do you this. have the documents? No, this, so, was, this was done back in 2005 when okay. we took the court. I could look into that. I down, down at the inspection department, they will have it because they went to court with me. Gotcha. They will still have a record of it. Yes. Great. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna, uh, I'm going to help you bring attention to this health hazard, uh, especially you know the children and the elderly uh, being bitten up by these mosquitoes. Anybody. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You could be a 30-year-old man. Nobody wants to uh, deal with this and mess in their neighborhood. And we have enough problems, Rob. Yeah. He, he should step up to the plate as the leader of our city. This is one of the things I complained about. Be a leader. Set the example. Mm -hmm. Your landlord, maintain your property. Okay. Dion Clark, uh, Wednesday, June 15th. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Uh,